Well guys, this is it. The road trip's come to an end and I'm heading home to Alaska right now. We're leaving Las Vegas. I got about uh, pretty much 4,000 miles to go. If you guys look at the last video, you'll see that uh, Nico just detailed this truck just before I head up to Alaska, so she's all clean right now. Anyway, we out of here. So our first stop's gonna be in Bend, Oregon. Can't tell you what we're doing just yet, but have about a thousand miles to go. So I got myself a coffee and we're driving through the night. Later, Vegas. One of the biggest lessons I've learned in my life so far is that it's not about the destination. It's really about the journey. The best part of life to me is just the anticipation of the destination. It's the anticipation and the excitement of what is to come and the journey to get there. That's one reason I love road trips so much is because it's just fun to soak every second of it up. We got Death Valley over here to the left, not too far over there. And, uh, beautiful sunset. While the importance of preparing for the future shouldn't be dismissed, neither should being present in the now. Preparing for a comfortable retirement in the future will sacrifice the way you live your life right now. And living life to the fullest right now might compromise the comfort of your retirement in the future. At first glance, it appears to be a wash whether you live for now or live for the future. However, the only guaranteed time we have is right here and right now. Just remember, there's no wrong way to choose your time. It's your path. And I take comfort knowing that time doesn't care what path I take. favorite parts about road tripping is actually keeping the radio off and just being with my thoughts in present moment. It just forces you to reflect on what's going on in your life, the direction you like to head in, and what's important to you. Good morning, y'all. It's the first morning of heading back to Alaska. Made myself some coffee really quick, and uh, we're gonna go start the truck because it's freaking cold outside. Ugh, 28 degrees this morning. Gonna let this thing warm up a good bit. Good old trusty Bluis. You know she's gonna start. It was dark last night when I pulled into camp. Now that it's light, I woke up in a freaking, I don't know if it's a ghost town. We're gonna take a super backwoods way through the country to get up towards Bend, Oregon. So I think it'd be pretty sweet. that old John was a grave digger and all the irony huh it's a good nice spot here though most of these people have been laying here for over a hundred years more than a hundred years that means their kids aren't alive it also means that most of their grandkids aren't even alive so within three generations everyone that knew these people are gone just a wild thought to think about it really is to me, it just really stresses the importance of time that you've just got to make the most of the time you've got here. And you might as well just take a chance and live an extraordinary life. You might as well, because no one's going to remember it no matter what you do. Even everything people build just deteriorates into the ground. Pretty wild. Look at that. Even steel can't withstand time. 
apparently Wyatt Earp and Billy the Kid and all those guys were here back in the day. He used to do some drinking in the bars. It almost sounds like a myth, just hard to believe all that was real. We're gonna go head up to the dump site up here for the town. I had a local tell me to come up here and check this out. It's just the old dump, which is basically people just throwing their stuff all over the land everywhere. I'll tell you one thing, if you want any old cans, my friend, this is your place. It's just wild. I just drove a little over a mile. There are just thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of cans everywhere. Just from back in the day, from the mines, I imagine. It's just how all the miners got their food supplies into town. There wasn't plastic and all that crap back then. You just had every, everything in tin cans. That's where they threw them, I guess. I'll tell you one thing, old man winter is coming, but I'm ready for it. I feel like most intelligent people would be driving south right now, but we're not. We're driving north. I think it's time for a little lunch break. Let's go grab something. What's on the menu for lunch today? These might be the best blue cheese stuffed olives I've ever had in my life. Really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Figured this would go pretty well with olives. Oh, yeah. It's about the heat of the day, about two o'clock in the afternoon. Middle of nowhere in Nevada. Beautiful highway. And yes, these are the ugliest Crocs in the world. My other pair shrank. This is the only color. Don't judge me. We woke up about maybe 20 miles outside of Bend, Oregon. So we're heading into the coffee shop. I'm gonna get some work done this morning and hopefully do a little whitewater kayaking, we'll see, but it's pretty freaking cold outside. So speaking of cold, doing a cold start here. 23 degrees this morning. Let those glow plugs warm up good. We're on the road, so we're gonna go hit Thumb Coffee in Bend, Oregon and get our day started there.